doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today, we are making fajitas, tablitas, and chicken wings on the Sunterra 48-inch Santa Maria-style grill. Folks, can't wait to show you this cook. Another easy one to do. We have that Santa Maria-style grill out there getting warmed up right now, folks. We have post oak. We have Kingsford charcoal. It's going to be right. More so importantly, we are cooking today on the laser-cut grill grates. Man, we're going to have some great fajitas today. Let me show you what the stars of the show are. We're at the cutting board right now. No need to pull out seasonings today. I did a vlog that I hope you saw last week where we took a trip. We went shopping for the perfect fajitas and the perfect tortillas. So what we have today is five pounds of tablitas. Now, tablitas are also known as short ribs. We have five pounds of fajitas. We have around eight pounds of chicken wings. Then, to accompany all this stuff, we have our peppers, we have our onions, we have our uh, lime. I'm telling you folks, it's going to be amazing. So you know what we'll do? I will take you outside to the grill today. No need to go to the cutting board. We'll go right to that Santa Maria style grill. Start cooking on those laser cut grill grates. Before you know it, we'll be back checking out some awesome fajitas, tablitas, and chicken wings on the Sunterra 48 inch Santa Maria style grill. I want to thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, folks, so we're outside. I want to show you my grill setup for today. So here is the 48-inch Sunterra Santa Maria style grill. You can see on both sides we'll be doing uh, cooking. We have awesome laser cut grill grates here that we're going to be cooking on today. Love these grill grates. I had to get them seasoned up, so we sprayed them down with cooking spray. We have post oak up under each side. My plan is to cook the meat on one side, our veggies on the other, and really show you the full versatility of this grill. So this is the grill setup. It's about time to start cooking right now. This grill's been heating up for about 25, 30 minutes. So I'll go get the food. We can start dropping it on and do some awesome wood fire cooking. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, folks, we're back, and we are my favorite part of the video, and that's let's get cooking. Let me show you what we got today. We're going to start off with our beef short ribs, so we'll get our tablitas going first. I'm telling you, we again, we have around five pounds of this goodness. The vlog I did uh, about a week ago was really a good time to show you guys just some of the uh, uh, things that we have in our area, but definitely to show you one of the best places to pick up marinated beef, okay? And that's what that was all about. So we're going to get our tablitas going. You can't beat these short ribs. All right, so we have our tablitas on. Now let's put on our fajitas. So I'm shooting on a different camera today. This is the Sony ZV-1. Um, I've been doing most of my videos on my iPad Pro. So we're going to get this added. If you could let me know what you think about the video quality, I would really appreciate it. Trying to learn a new camera sometimes can be a little stressful, so we're getting it going. Look at this beautiful skirt steak. My goodness, I should have cut this down some, but that's okay. We're going to throw it on this grill and get going. Okay, folks, so again, we have five pounds of tablitas, we have five pounds of fajitas, and we have about eight pounds of chicken wings. We'll get those added later. I'll catch back up with you in a bit. We can see how these things are coming along. Thanks for hanging in there. Okay, folks, we're only about ten minutes in. It's time to flip these babies and keep them rotating. You can see the fire is stoking well. This is going to be amazing, folks. So I'm going to flip these tablitas. I'll bring you guys in closer, but I tell you what, winter time... Um, or, you know, fall is an amazing time to be out here doing Santa Maria style cooking. I just love it. You get the benefits of the open fire cooking, you get the warmth of the grill, and you just get a chance to hang out outside and enjoy nature. So, this is good stuff. You can see the smoke coming through. It's getting infused with post-oak flavor. 
This is going to be some great fajitas, some great tablitas, and awesome chicken wings. Now, what you get when you do Santa Maria style cooking is you get wood fire flavor. So that's what it's all about. You get this outdoor cooking, wood fire flavor. You get a chance to cook over an open fire. It's one of the best ways of cooking. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip the fajitas too while we're together. All right, so what we'll do, we'll let this continue cooking, and then we'll get back together uh, in about maybe 10, 15 minutes and see how things are looking. Uh, my wife just got home. She may have gotten into the frame. I'm not really sure, but if she did, she's home, and you can come on over now since you're here. Show everybody what you brought. My beautiful That's wife brought... kettle corn. Nothing. She brought some kettle corn. So Old I'm City gonna, Park. Old City Park. So this is a, an awesome spot. My daughter performed today. I'm going to enjoy some kettle corn while she continues to uh, jump into my film that I'm trying to show you guys. See you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. Some of our tablitas are done already. It's only been about 10 minutes, but they're cooking right up under this open fire, and I mean it is getting done right. So let's go ahead and start pulling some of those. We get a chance to uh, cook all kinds of good things today on the Santa Maria style grill. We will get going again with peppers and onions and things like that uh, in just a minute. The short ribs are so tender. And you know when you're eating these, all you want to do is nibble all around that bone and get all the good gristle off of there. I'm talking about good stuff. Okay, we're not going to rush it. We'll let some of these cook a little bit longer. Uh, most of them are done though. A few more minutes on this side and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add our chicken wings on this side. Our fajitas are still cooking up nicely on the right side of the grill. Alright folks, so here's our tablitas. They look absolutely amazing. What we'll do now is go ahead and get our chicken wings on. Our fajitas are cooking up nicely on the other side. You see I lowered the grill grate. Again, that is the versatility of the Santa Maria style grill. So you can raise, lower your grill grates based on the temperature you're trying to achieve. So our fajitas are cooking up nicely. Now on this side, it's time to add the chicken wings. So we got about eight to 10 pounds here. So quite a few chicken wings. We're just gonna start adding them to the Santa Maria. I just love these laser cut grill grates. They're just so versatile. You just don't have to worry about anything. You still get the smoke flavor. It protects your food from falling through onto the fire. These are accessories. They're um, add-ons for the Santa Maria style grill. They come with V-channel grill grates. So I added these maybe about two years ago. Let's go ahead and flip our fajitas while we're together. And these will be coming off any second now as well. Oh, they're cooking up nicely. Just beautiful. This is a treat while we're waiting. Mm. Tender like butter. Best marinade in town. Okay, so we have about 10 pounds of chicken wings. We have our remaining fajitas to pull off the grill. Next thing we'll do is bring our veggies out. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. I'm going to zoom you in, let you see these chicken wings and how they're coming along. So check it out, folks. Now, is that right or what? All right, now you see on the right side our peppers and onions. We have our jalapenos going. So this is going to be a great final product. I'll meet you guys back at the cutting board. Uh, all I'm going to do is continue to cook this. We'll start checking internal temps. We want 165 degrees on white meat. So with these wings, I'll come out and start sampling with our thermal pan, making sure we're up to the correct temperature. And then we'll meet at the cutting board, folks. We will check out the final product of our tablitas, fajitas, chicken wings, and awesome peppers, onions made on the Sunterra Santa Maria style grill. Meet you at the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Checking out the final product of our awesome fajitas, tablitas, and chicken wings made on the Sunterra 48 inch Santa Maria style grill. Folks, let's talk about what we did really quick. So all we did, folks, is start up that Santa Maria style grill. We had no seasoning to do because if you saw last week from my vlog, 
We picked up the perfect fajitas. We picked up fresh tortillas. And all we had to do, folks, is actually go out there on that grill and just drop them on there. No seasoning required because these things came pre-seasoned. So here's the final result of what we got. We have our six to eight pounds of chicken wings. These things are done right, okay? Let me grab one of these and just open it up. Look at that. Cooked through and through to perfection. We'll do a quick taste test here. The seasoning this uh, meat market puts on your food, again, nothing is required except hitting it with some smoke, okay? That's all we did. Let's move this to the side. Coming back now, folks, with our beautiful fajitas. Here's our pepper salt. Let me show you that. Just made right, okay? All we did was grill those right up under that post oak fire. We have our onions. We have our green bell peppers. Grilled to perfection. Here's our fajitas, folks. Let me pull one of these apart. Look at that. They just pull apart like butter. They're just so tender. Mm. Wonderful. Last but not least, our tablitas, which is also called short ribs. Here's one beautiful tablita. We'll get a bite of that. Mm. Like butter. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let us know what DC Grills is up to. And as always, at DC Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. Santa Maria style cooking, wood fire cooking is absolutely amazing. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, we're closing this video out. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Later.